I hope you're ready for another Mission product review. I know that I am. Today we're going to be looking at their new Mission Cooling hoodie, and that thing looks awesome. If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and this is Jeff Reviews for You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way, you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this Mission Cooling Hoodie to see if it's any good. Just like the other Mission products, you're supposed to get wet, ring and snap to get that cooling feature. I just wanted to show you what this hoodie looked like. It does look pretty sweet. Um, it's just like their towel actually, or their other products but made into a hood form. Man, I can't get this open, there we go. So just made into like a little hood. You can tuck this into your shirt. I kind of like that. I sure hope I look as cool as Dwayne Wade does when he's wearing it. All right, let's go test it out. Just because you never know and the directions tell us to, we're gonna machine wash cold before first use. It's a beautiful day with the hot sun. Time to do some yard work. All right, let's put this through the test. We have a current temperature of 93 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 33 degrees Celsius. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna thoroughly wet this. Now this water is just from the tap, nothing special. Thoroughly wetting it, wring it out, and snap it three times, ready? And our temperature after snapping it, 25 degrees Celsius and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Definitely a lot cooler. I'm looking forward to trying it out today. So I've just activated my Mission Cooling Hood and it is cold. I really do like the coverage from the hot sun. Um, I'm excited to try this out. Now I'm gonna be mowing this lawn and I'll let you know periodically throughout it how things are going. All right, so yes, this is cool, but I've already run into some troubles. So I like it that it's out like this and it's covering my neck and my sides of my head and my head. But when I'm on the lawnmower, it just blows off my head and that's really frustrating. And that's even with it tucked into my shirt. So I'm gonna have to try something different just to keep it on my head while mowing the lawn. I will try some other things outside to see how I like it there, but I know with the motion and just the wind blowing at me, it blows off my head. I've been working out here for the past 30 minutes and I wanted to give you an update. Remember how I said this gives you two hours of cooling or up to two hours of cooling? Well, the top of my hood and the sides of my hood are both dry. Therefore, they're not providing that cooling anymore. That being said, I am being shielded from the sun and I do like that this material is lightweight. Down here at the tail part, this is still wet, but that doesn't really help me. And if I wanted that cooling feature, I'd have to reactivate it. Now, you might ask yourself, do you typically wear a collared shirt when you mow the lawn? And the answer is no. I only did that because I wanted to try to tuck in the hood to see how that worked. The rate at which your hood dries depends on a lot of situations, right? I live in a pretty humid area right now and I'm surprised that it dried as fast as it did. That being said, that hot sun is beating down and I have been riding on a lawnmower and so just that wind could dry it. So you're gonna have to do a little trial and error with keeping it cool in your area. So, what are your thoughts of the Mission Cooling Hoodie? Have you used this? Would you try this? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So last night we had a pretty bad storm and as you can see this tree behind me, we actually lost half of it. This whole thing that extends there, we got a lot of brush that's been taken up, a few loads gone. I've been using my Mission Cooling Towel during this entire thing, um, about 30 minutes now. It's still a little damp, but it is drying just like I had the same experience when I was mowing. Um, but let me tell you, it's keeping that sun off my head and every time I start to sweat, I can just wipe my face off. So we're gonna continue chopping this stuff up. I always recommend getting some help when moving around these heavy tree branches. Who says you need a gas powered chainsaw to get rid of this big tree? This battery operated works 40 volt has been doing just fine. Whew, it's hot out here. All right, so I'm pretty much wrapped up with cutting things. I have that one branch still attached to that tree that I'll cut down in just a little bit. I've had to replace the batteries in the work saw, but that's okay, it's been cruising for about an hour. Um, I will say that I've wet this down now a second time, and every time I wet it down and wring it out and snap it, it feels really, really cool. My favorite thing, one, wiping my face, two, 
keeping that hot sun off of me. Whew. It's a hot day. As you can see, I just have a little pile left from that big branch that was broken down and I'm done for the day. I'm so excited. You might notice that I'm no longer wearing my cooling hood and I actually switched over to the cooling bucket hat. And the reason I did that, although I like the hood, um, after a couple hours, it was just getting dry and it was just turning out to be like a regular hat and it was covering the sides of my head and my neck and I was actually kind of getting hot. So I wanted something that would flow through the air a little more, but still provide the sun protection. Also, when I did wet it after a period of time, it was just like wearing a wet towel on my head and that was kind of uncomfortable. So I opted for a dry hat to finish the day. I'm not going to ask you if myself or Dwayne wore this better because we all know the answer there, but I will say after a day or so, it sure starts to stink. So you don't want to let this thing go by too long without washing it after you use it. In this video, I was taking a look at the Mission Cooling Hoodie. So what did I think of it? Well, first things first, I love it when things fall into that $19.99 as seen on TV price point. That's pretty convenient. Second thing, well, when you get this wet, ring it out and snap it three times, it provides an intense cooling sensation. And that's awesome. That being said, after about 30 minutes, it dried and it no longer felt like it was that cool hood anymore. I will say this is a lot thinner than a typical hoodie on a sweatshirt, so it is more breathable. But if you don't keep reapplying the water, wringing it out and snapping it, in my usage, it ended up trapping the heat inside. I kind of felt hot. Even though it was blocking me from the sun, man, I could feel the heat on my neck. So I ended up switching to my Mission Bucket Hat just to finish the job. Anyway, if you don't mind re-wetting this, wringing it out and snapping it, this is something you might like. I can see a lot of great uses, whether you're gardening or on a boat or golfing or just being outside, it does keep you cool. Anyway, I'll leave a link to this product down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Mission Cooling Hoodie. You know what? In this video, I actually utilized two other products. One was a Mission Bucket Hat and two were my Flip Up Tack Glasses. What I'm going to do, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link my Flip Up Tack Glass review right up here and my Mission Bucket Hat and, well, regular hat video right here. I would love it if you would click on one of these links. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you here or here. So go ahead, click one. They're safe. I promise.